Hello, hello, uh, Danger Noodles, fellow Danger Noodles, welcome to the, sh the stream, as well as I have an announcement. Uh, I forgot you are going to be calling people that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, basically, uh, since I've been get forced to have so many days off from work, I'll be doing a bunch of recordings of games. On the week weekends, I'll ha I'll do Pixelmon recordings, and during the weekdays, there'll be Little Nightmares with Castle Crashers if I can get it to fucking work. Yippee. Yes. Y'all know if uh, do y'all know if it is possible to like use an application to increase the, like, to make an image bigger? No. No. Oh, I... fuck. Because this image will not be very big. In fact, it is fucking tiny. Wait, I, I started Mod. looking up does slapping the tattoo, uh... <laughs> oh, no. Does... Does oh, slapping no. a tattoo help uh, with itching? First things I see, does slavery still exist? Does slavery still exist today? Yes. Does slavery still exist in Africa? <laughs> it, it very much still exists. <laughs> Why Actually, would that... Seven... Actually, seven states voted on if... Uh, if I forget what it was exactly, but it had something to do with slavery uh, and bringing it back, and so people had to vote uh, and re read this law several times in several states uh, if if slavery should be brought back, and there was like a fifty fifty chance that they might not understand the law and accidentally vote for slavery to be legal in those states. Oh God, that's, that's oh God! Don't you love America? Oh, so your tattoo is supposed to flake. I thought something was going wrong with my tattoo. You're also supposed to keep it uh, moist, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, I have white cream. I have lotion. cream. Yippee! Alright, anyway. Let's make it a good 720p. And large image. God damn it, please give me something good in the gambling machine. No. I got a skateboard. Yippee! Okay, right before you start, I must send you this. I'm going to send this image in the, uh, uh, in the uh, the chat for sending my <laughs> my edited fish images. Are are they scary? No, they're just like like I'm I'm making a Cards Against Humanity deck that's based entirely on fish. And I decided that I'm going to basically label every fish as well as add memes onto images, which means that I need a place to upload all of these images that I'm making so that I can add them to the card deck on the on the website. Mm -hmm. So Bright made me an all new channel to do that in. Mm. But because it's Cards Against Humanity, it's also made 18 plus, so you cannot see it. Uh, let's see. Going to go to the... Uh... Wait. Okay, I decided to see what, while you are doing that, I decided to see what S uh, egg allergy SCP was. Apparently, it's a Spanish to English dictionary that if you start to read it, <laughs> you'll start having an allergic reaction. Oh. Oh. That's not, that's not very good. <laughs> it's a safe class, though. Oh, I mean, you, technically, if you don't read it, then you're, you're fine. Yeah, you literally just have to, like, that's, it's pretty easy to lock in a box. Yeah, but if, if the issue, I think, that, like, the issue comes if it's, if it can be duplicated, and if the duplicates, uh, have that issue. Damn it, I'm trying to figure something out, because, like, the, my, my edit of the image is not 18 plus but because it came from an 18 plus image does that mean that i that does that mean that i can't post it elsewhere i'm kind of curious what it is probably like, should I, do safe 
I better save till the star. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> child, you cannot see. I guess. Anyway, here you go, Bright. This is the this is the image I'm adding to the deck. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, we ready? Listen, child, all you need to know is that it is an edited version of the meme that you accidentally overheard us talking about, except I zoomed in on the fish's face, and I put in blurry text at the bottom, fuck bright. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just the goldfish. I Isn't there, like, an entire, uh, like... Oh, fuck. I, oh, I'm so dead. Isn't there, like, an entire marine life-based uh, dating simulator? Yeah, I've seen something like that. I think Jack probably... has played it. Yeah, there's got to be multiples. Not to mention it was 18 plus when I first saw it. <laughs> also, oh, there dear God, Bright. <laughs> and like Glub Glub, who is very much not humanoid. And just the goldfish. God damn it, I got crushed by her. The wings Bright. cleared! No! <laughs> Bright. I was killed by twinks God later. damn it, Bright. <laughs> I was killed by Twink Slayer. I'm not a Twink. Why would they slay me? Oh no. Oh, I well, killed I mean, the Slayer. It's good. Anyway, oh, well, that's the, well, that's the thing. The way that they slay Twinks is probably not the way that they killed you. <laughs> let's, let's see if Hatcho will get another new favorite SCP tonight. Oh, yeah, child, you weren't. Sorry, Bright, just last thing. Child, you weren't here for my new favorite SCP, were you? No. It is a Keter class that is nicknamed Jurassic Park. And you know, like 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 what what do you think about when I mention that that is its I, name? I think I remember this. I think I was here for this one. I just wasn't paying attention that much. Uh it wasn't it like that the, someone tried to recreate uh, Jurassic Park, if I remember correctly. No. No, it is not that. It is a very different SCP. Just like uh, conjure up the images that you think about. Dinosaur. Dinosaurs, yeah, dinosaurs. Uh, very... Hunky men that gay guys fawn over. What? Actually, that kind of that actually kind of fits as well, thanks to one of the incident <laughs> logs. Yeah. The bikers. Women. Hot I women. don't. Has it Hot, mentioned? Smart, I don't. I know. Okay. Dragon, anyway. Shut up. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, Jurassic Park is an SCP in which, at random moments, the ghosts of dinosaurs will possess vehicles that are using some kind of fossil fuels, and they will start doing dinosaur things, but as vehicles. Transformers? No, they don't transform. <laughs> They're just cars. Like when when a rap like a pack of raptors possessed a. A bunch of bikers bikes the raptors just bucked off the bikers and started beating the fuck up on the bikers before they were lured away with a bunch of chickens and exercised what there was a semi truck that was possessed by presumably a tyrannosaurus that then began to go around drive around and hunt down smaller cars like sedans yeah <laughs> So they do. They probably have children in them. Well, yeah. Did but they hunt down any white vans with blacked out windows? That was not mentioned. With ice let's see, cream there was, on the side. Let's see. There was a. Oh yeah, there was a. There was a plane that was possessed by what appears to be what seemed to be an Azdurkid pterosaur, and it eventually. Flew, it, it it started flying madly and then landed on a sea sh seaside or like the side of a river and started attempting to dig with its wheels before eventually running out of gas, which makes the ghost go away. And then when they went to like when the foundation dug up where where it was trying to dig, there was a bunch of fossilized eggs. Oh. It's sad, but still. It, this is ghost dinosaurs and ghost extinct animals taking over cars. There was also, what was it, a t like a ship or a submarine? I think it was a sub. Yeah. I think it was a submarine 
that was taken over by what we presume to be a megalodon. <laughs> and it started oh. hunting shit down. Oh, that's kind of badass, not gonna lie. Oh, fuck. Someone's hurling, like, actual cannonballs at my face. I anyway. killed Twig Slayer, let's fucking go. Anyway, <laughs> if you go to stream planning, you'll see the first SCP of tonight. Uh, stream planning. Open this up. That's just a- is that just a bunch of servers? Yes. Okay. The internet is an SCP confirmed. I mean, have you seen the shit that goes on? Someone straight up said that someone on TikTok was glorifying autism by yeah. saying that all water is thousands of- actually not thousands, millions of years old. Oh and them, gosh. like, pointing out that someone got some scientific facts wrong was glorifying autism. Anyway, the nickname of the SCP is called The Beloved. Rambo? No! <laughs> I don't know, that's the, thing, the first thing I think um, of. I'm sorry, can you say that again? My brain, like, briefly shut off as a defense mechanism from what the child said. Oh. Ranboo, a Minecraft it, YouTuber. No. No, I mean the thing before that. The nickname oh. is The Beloved. The Beloved. Uh, the. The Beloved. The Beloved. I'm gonna end you. The da, 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 Beloved. I'm gonna end you, Hatchet. Anyway, on with the Can SCP. I end Hatchet first? No. Damn. The Beloved. <laughs> anyway, on with the SCP. SCP-1769 is a 14-line section of non-functional script capable of infecting certain websites, specifically those with free user accounts and free communication between users. This occurs by the apparent self-introduction of the text into the website's page source, though the exact mechanism of this process is unknown. Any person with an active account that is currently logged in is considered to be exposed to the phenomenon. After accumulating approximately 225 minutes of total exposure, subjects will become infected. The human version of the infection is hereafter referred to as SCP-1769-A. The lines of script themselves consist of a 14-line English sonnet titled Redacted. The nature of which is unclear, but has been linked to the vocalizations in the later stages of SCP-1769-A. The text itself exhibits no anomalous properties until they are introduced into the page source of a website that meets the aforementioned criteria. This can also occur through data expunged, making it a Great. priority that access to the containment file remains strictly controlled. SCP-1769-A infection will will progress through five stages. Stage one, subject will begin to retract from all forms of communication that are not internet-based. When inquired about this, they will respond as though this is normal and describe other forms of communication as feeling strange or disconnected. Stage two, subject will refuse all forms of communication that are not internet-based and respond with hostility towards efforts to force them to communicate otherwise. Subjects will continue to focalize at this stage, but this is not considered to be communication because it does not appear to be directed at anyone or anything in particular. The vocalizations are always in English and tend to occur in iambic uh, pentameter, often des describing an entity called the Beloved that the subject interacts with online. These vocalizations will occur regardless of whether the subject has internet access. Stage 3. Symptoms of stage three, or stage 2 persist, however the subject will begin to emit radio waves consistent with a w, WLAN signal. This allows them to access the internet without technological medium and can also be used to communicate with other infected individuals. References to the beloved increase in frequency, and the subject will demonstrate a slavish reference for the object, often describing their willingness to do anything for it. 
Stage 4. Symptoms of Stage 2 and Stage 3 persist. In addition, the vocalizations of subjects become anomalous in nature. Any individual expo exposed to said vocalizations will become infected. The specific nature of vocalizations at this stage is unknown due to these properties. Stage 5. Subject will lapse into a coma, but continue to vocalize and emit radio waves. If a subject at this stage is allowed to access the internet, any communication elicited in this fashion will be in English, use iambic pentameter, and display the same anomalous properties as the vocalizations. Individuals that observe messages or comments left by stage 5 subjects online will become infected. The infection is not lethal, but the coma has so far proved irreversible. If an individual infected with SCP 1769 A dies, there is a redacted percent chance that a new variation of anomalous text will emerge. There is an addendum. Do we want to read it, or do we got everything? I think we got everything we need. Oh. It's 4chan. Yeah. This is 4chan. This is, like, your average Redditor that, like, spends, like, five hours on Reddit a day. Oh, shit. And in the addendum, it says... They're they're thinking about a hypothesis that they might infect the foundation network. Oh. Oh God. Please <laughs> no. So that could be really bad. Or really funny. There's a fifty fifty, honestly. Well, if it infects the foundation network, that that so many employees will be infected and not actually care for the SCPs or stop the SCPs. Point, yeah. Yeah, so so it, basic, it, it would basically cause the, the the worst containment breach ever. Yeah, so this does contain a serious threat, if the hy hypothesis is true. Yeah. That would come to the issue is of if it is true, though. Or if it is, is even possible. Did it say that, like, there's the hypothesis that it could? Uh, infect the SCP. Uh, and infect them, or that it has infected them. Oh shit! I'm gonna um, they had to change how to use Foundation Network because this SCP can infect the Foundation Network if they're not careful. They have to use either a single, f uh. Or uh, use a single free, e a single fee equal to one EUR for access to the Foundation's network. They have to use that. Otherwise, they would be infected. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what an EU bar is. I don't know either. It it's ba the the point is that this only infects places that have free accounts. They made it so that. SCP employees have to pay on the website so that this thing can't infect their servers. Which is terrifying. Yeah, but at the same time, that also renders it effectively useless on that end. Uh, I... I have no idea where to put this thing, honestly. Yeah, because if it I... infects, like, certain websites, like, governmental websites and it starts infecting that that could be a huge risk oh no it's i'm not even thinking that i'm thinking google oh shit yeah it would infect the entire world <laughs> google twitter and pretty much anything connected to microsoft uh, uh di the discord also has a, an online thing yeah yeah so discord mm -hmm. So we will uh, already Spotify, be <laughs> every well. Then again, it does also kind of necessitate some level of text me right. texting. So Spotify's out. So yeah. in other words, you're safe on Spotify. Everyone move to Spotify. No, because the thing is, the part is my Spotify. Uh, it will not let me back on on Google only. Uh, and I don't know why. 
you're banned. No, my oh. account still works on other uh, like uh, Microsoft Chrome and stuff. It just will well, not work. Well, or uh, on Google Chrome, and I don't know why. Well, child, mm -hmm. I'm sorry to say this, but you are doomed to become a redditor. <laughs> I would. I think I would rather be dead than. <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah. Uh, I. I don't know where to put this. Like. If it, it if it goes uh, onto yeah. certain sites, it could literally be a oh, huge God. threat. Oh god, all of my sites I can't talk about give free accounts. Oh no. I get back. Also, I think legally they do have to get your free accounts. No. Wait, no, they what? don't. Maybe there's not. there's there's sites that where you have to pay a certain premium. Yeah. Like the publicly accessible, like Anyone can make an account and watch anything on the site. Those do need free accounts. But there's also paid for services for those accounts. Let's stop talking about that. Um, yeah. I'd say world uh, at this rate. World changing, like if, yeah. Yeah, like anyone who interacts with this shit gets infected and then they become a Redditor. And then eventually we have a whole world of Redditors that are all comatose. Is not good. The only good news is that it's it's not lethal. <laughs> I mean, being in a basically a, like a catatomic coma isn't much better. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we probably put this world changing. Well, then come to think of it, does the person who's in the coma get to constantly scroll through the internet while they're in the coma? Well, they can't move, but, like, they're connected to the internet, so I would assume. Yeah, like, they, they are basically an internet modem. <laughs> yeah. Everyone... Well, right would be in, in fucking, like, Jesus Christ, that's horrifying to think about what the fuck, uh... Well, actually, see, that's the thing. The greatest threat to us that the alt-right poses is a physical one. If we make them all comatose Redditors, they can't touch us. Fair point. Also, I sent uh, tactical nukes to people, and I killed two children. Oh, God. No. <laughs> I committed an Obama. No. Uh, <laughs> never commit an Obama. So, anyway. Uh, Oops. I'm posting the next SCP picture. Whoops. I committed war crimes. Tee hee. Well, uh, dressed up as oh god, what the fuck? Tupac as dressed up as in uh, in a, a get up inspired by Tupac. <laughs> Tupac would have never supported this. Mm. Anyway, but yeah, uh, the next SCP pictures in stream planning. Why is there just a caution sign with a shirt in it? Well, its nickname uh, is called. Retail Spectres. It's obviously a bunch of nudists scared of clothing. I highly doubt that that's the SCP. I feel like that exists, though, honestly. Wait, okay, I gotta I mean, take a problem. picture. I'm gonna take a picture of this, because apparently this SCP also has an actual picture in it. It looks like something from the back rooms. By the way, Bright, the stream is paused on Discord. Yeah. Oh, that's probably because I have this. Uh, I had it down. Sorry. Eh. Bitch. Hot take. Hot take. Um, mint. Mint ice cream with chocolate chips right. in it is really good. You're about to see that why. Ain't a hot take. You're about to see why I said it looks like something from the back rooms. Why did you say that was a hot take when in actuality, your take? Oh. <laughs> When in actuality, child, your take on ice cream is pretty cold. That's a cold take, child. Oh my god, shut, the, shut up, stop! It's a very cold, like, frozen take. Like, liquid nitrogen take. I, I can't be if you tell if you're being sarcastic or making an ice pun. Yes. The answer is yes. I am doing both. Mortal Kombat Mobile. 
My no. phone's too filled up with fucking random little mobile games to play Mortal Kombat Mobile. I wonder if I actually got the I'll wrong number Kombat down. Hold on. What'd Ow. you say, child? I got hit on a hammer with a hammer on my head. But who the fuck would play Mortal Kombat on their phone? I don't know. It sounds genuinely awful. awful. Yeah. I yeah, like that. I can't imagine that would be well optimized. Especially since you have to put in like quick inputs and stuff. That just sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, as well as like multiple button presses at the same time. Like some of the really complicated combos are like difficult as fuck to pull off. Mm hmm. Which is why, like, if Smash Bros. was on a phone, it could work. But, like, fucking Mortal Kombat? Yeah. A game purposely made. Okay, so... Well, I mean, last... to, be, to be fair, Mortal Kombat isn't Tekken. So it's, it's like, like, not as bad. Yeah. Anyway. There are layers of, like, holy shit, what the fuck is wrong with this when game? I la anyway, when I last got... Looked this up for the Keters, like I, like I said before... They mo they can have reclassifications because of new generations. It happens. Yeah. This has been reclassified. Mm. Okay. It's now Euclid. Mm hmm Damn it, I keep getting crushed by a roller. So I guess I'll just read yeah. it, but we already know where it's going. Yeah. Reclassified. But it might we might change it to Spood though, if it's funny. For I highly doubt it, seeing the picture of it. It's an empty warehouse with a caution sign that shows a shirt on it. This does not seem like it's this is this does not look like it's going to be very good spood tier material. Yeah. Anyway, SCP-1775 is an abandoned redacted department store located in Detroit, Michigan. SCP-1775 was closed in 1979 and showed Shows weird and damaged, typical to Detroit's urban decay. With back up, sorry, sorry, bright. Did you just say weird instead where? of where? I don't know why I said weird. That was. <laughs> I'm sorry. I that one just. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but that one really set me off. Yeah. Right, are I you apologize. a Weezer fan? Weird. Shut up. <laughs> anyway. Weirdo. Yeah. There you go. Detroit's urban decay with interior support beams and ceilings and advanced stages of neglect. Although similar in appearance and condition to other abandoned buildings in the Detroit area, SCP-1775 is distinguishable by the lack of any evidence of impromptu human habitation, such as trash and makeshift bedding. SCP-1775's anomalous properties manifest between the hours of 9 o'clock and 20 o'clock every day of the week, excluding Sunday. During this time, the damage to its interior will be repaired, restoring to it to near-perfect conditions. Walls will, will be repainted, crumbling support beams are restored, etc. Despite these cosmetic changes, the interior of SP-1775 will remain devoid of any material not present prior to the activation event, with the exception of SCP-1775-X. SCP-1775-X are a series of humanoid spectral entities that manifest within the interior of SCP-1775 during the activation event. Aside from uh, occasional deviations, SCP-1775-X instances follow a set pattern of behavior during all activation events. All attempts to interact with or directly alter their behavior patterns have failed due to their intangible nature. After the, the cessation of an SCP-1775 activation event at 20 hours, SCP-1775-X instances will vanish and the interior of SCP-1775 will once again reassemble its inactive state. Attempts to observe SCP-1775 during this transition have been met with failure. Recording equipment placed in the interior spontaneously fails, and personnel present during the shift have never been record re recovered. SCP-1775-X Behavior Log 
entity dash three period of activity 11 o'clock to 17 o'clock monday through thursday description manifests near a shelf at the back of the store spends the entirety of the manifestation event bending down and picking up non-existent objects and placing them on the shelf Entity dash nine period of activity nine o'clock to eighteen o'clock tuesday through saturday manifest behind the counter at the front of the store currently theorized to be the cashier frequently moves its fingers up and down in a type of motion in front of its register occasionally pausing to make motions with its hands resembling the removal and organization of cash entity dash 29 Period of activity, 9 o'clock to 20 o'clock, Monday through Saturday. Description, stands near the entrance of the store when its hands behind its back. When a person enters the store, it will briefly wave at them before returning to its previous stance. To date, it has never shown any signs of movement unless a person enters the store. that it? Well, uh, there is an addendum. Well, I guess it's a pretty good thing that this is already reclassified, because my brain was so focused on fighting, I forgot to listen. So, it's... Okay, so it's... Oh, no. I decided to read the addendum. I guess... I think I should read it. You got okay. Fire. Addendum 1775-A. On several occasions, SCP-1775-X instances have deviated from the reported behavior. A brief summary of these deviations is provided below. Entity-3. Date. Redacted. Before placing another item on the shelf, it placed its hands over its head and assumed a fetal position. It remained in this position until the event ended at 20 o'clock. Entity-9. Date redacted. Stepped away from the counter and covered his face and his hands in an apparent sign of the despondence. After 30 minutes, it ceased his action and resumed his normal behavior. Entity redacted. Date redacted. Deviation. Uh, ran from his manifestation point in the west side of the store to the east side, colliding with the opposite wall. After colliding, it rapidly punched the wall for approximately three hours before collapsing and remaining motionless until the event ended at 20 o'clock. It just got sad. I mean, wouldn't you be sad? It just felt like a capitalistic hellhole. Also, why was this a keter? I... Uh -huh. I just it's just kind of sad. Capitalism, the key to class. I mean, if you think about it, yeah, kind of. So, uh, are you assigned? Yeah. We aren't putting the capitalism ghosts into spood tier. I mean, we do have a what the fuck tier. <laughs> I forgot that we have that tier. <laughs> what what's in that tier? What did we add to that tier? I think there was a like one that was a dimension that had a bunch of crab creatures come out every now and then for no reason. <laughs> oh right, yeah, that's that's like where we put something that like we want like that's just like completely baffling and we don't understand why it's a keter, but also don't want to put it in either of the other two places. Yeah, uh Can you grab I... also when I got this picture, it was before I found out about the rubber and how shitty of an SCP YouTuber they were. The who? The rubber. The rubber? The reason it, it, it's not the name oh. is not as like if they're not bad as well, they are bad, but the the name sounds a lot worse than what the channel does. Yeah. Uh, also, um, the reason why they're notoriously hated by the SCB community 
is because they usually leave 75 to 85 percent of the actual article out of the video and just put their own stuff in. I killed a man, but I got killed. Myself. I'm not sure how you feel about that, Hatchet. I mean, it's kind of like, like, I can get what you're doing, but uh, like, if I guess that's a big thing. Did they like frame it as if this is the 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 whole truth about these SCPs? Or are they just uh, like pretty much? Okay, then yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, there was actually like, one for... time that was like the man bear, which is an SCP that's a safe class entity, and they re revealed it to be a keter, <laughs> which made no sense whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, like, the spirit of Creative Commons is kind of doing your own thing, but, right. like, if you're not gonna, like, stick to the source material enough to make it clear that, like, or if you're not gonna be honest enough to make it clear that, hey, this is just my thing, you don't, this isn't, this isn't how the original articles look, then, blah. Yeah. Also, what the fuck is this image I'm looking at? Oh, wait. I'm going to delete that and re put that in because I just realized something. Oh, it's kind of sad. You just realized something? Uh. The oh, only yeah. clothes they're wearing is pants. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, these are called the adults. Oh, I remember these. I remember these. I like these. Uh, so this is one of your favorites. It's not one of my favorites, but it's one that I remember. I just no. I just saw it sub zero and half. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, I, have a I just on his behalf. Not gonna lie. Oh I my mean... god! I got crushed by. It isn't. It isn't my fault that he's so easily cut up with my macalado. Yeah, he seems. He seems like a soft little guy. Is that really ironic? Because he's literally like one of his variants. Literally has him cover his body in hard ice for protection. Anyway, let's talk about the adults being. Oh, fuck, I just remembered... Oh. Wait, can we talk about this one? Uh, I can I'll... leave, if you want to talk about it. Wait, Hedge, do you actually remember everything about it, though? I don't remember everything. Like, it has a sort of bait-and-switch where it sounds like predatory behavior's happening, and it's still technically happening, but it's also, like, not sexual. I think as long... I, 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 is... I can leave. I think as long as it is shown it's not sexual in any way, I think it should be fine. I mean, as far as I know, it's not that. Like, like I'll stop if it gets to that point, and then we just classify it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we can't just classify it without talking about it in depth. You know what? If If it gets to that point where we need to, we shall deafen the child. I can deafen myself. No. Well, we can serve or deafen you to be extra sure. <laughs> that plus, then we don't have to deal with the complexities of like trying to get you to realize that you can come back. Yeah. True. Yeah. All right. It'd just be more convenient. On with the SCP then. All right. SCP seventeen eighty eight is a process, treatment, or other means of biological transformation, a prepubescent. Human being subjected to SCP-1788 becomes an instance of SCP-1788-1. Currently, the creators or discoverers of SCP-1788 is unknown. Groups of interests are being investigated. Uh, finding the origin of SCP-1788 is considered a century level priority. What's what does century mean? 
I think it's something that the author made up for this particular thing. Okay. I'm not sure, though, so. Eh. Oh, well. Massive grandma. Shut up. <laughs> oh, God, not massive grandma. I was killed by someone with the tag, massive grandma. No, grandma. Yeah. How could you do this? Yeah, anyway. Uh, on reaching adulthood, SCP-1788-1 instances display uh, predatory behavior towards... Oh. I should yeah, probably... that's what I was... I, I'm going to reread that. Uh, all right. On reaching adulthood, SCP-1788-1 instances display... Uh, acts, uh, no, behavior. Creep, cre cre creepy, abusive behavior towards unrelated children. There we go. Typically, they will settle in a large urban center, find a form of white collar employment, and then begin. Tr Come on! <laughs> Tracking prepubescents in the area. I told you. It oh, boy. Again, it it doesn't it doesn't delve into what that stuff normally leads to in real life, but it's still. Yeah, I can I can see in the next paragraph it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Approximately once every six months, an SCP seventeen eighty eight dash one instance will attempt to abduct one of the prepubescents it has been tracking and take them to a remote or otherwise unobserved location where it's subjected. To the SCP-1788 process and turned into an instance of SCP-1788-1. Little information has been gather gathered from captured instances of SCP-1788-1. Instances are of above average intelligence and show extremely strong resistance to, to compulsion, cohesion, torture, data expunge, and other forms of information extraction. Every instance to date has also shown signs of malignant narcissism and psych psychopathy. Malignant. Malignant, sorry. They generally have a complete lack of empathy, but while also showing keen psychological insight. For those reasons, among others, unauthorized contact with SP-1788-1 instances is strictly forbidden. Individual instances generally do not voluntarily gather or interact except for the purpose of uh, adult time. In fact, reproducing. <laughs> well, adult time doesn't always lead to re reproduction. Yeah, the point is reproduction. Yeah, reproduction. There we go. Re process of time. reproduction. In fact, when two oh, or more oh. instances are placed in the same environment, they typically fight for dominance. This behavior is not gender linked. Females and males will fight one another in addition to their own genders. And in a mixed gender group, there will, will only be one dominant individual who may be male or female. Captured instances are housed separately to minimize damage. Multiple instances have been seen in the same general urban area, but never in a ratio greater than 1 in 100,000 normal humans. Uh, reproduction season apparently occurs annually, but it's not seasonally linked. Instances of some environments have been observed uh, reproduction in the summer, while other instances have been observed reproduction in winter months. SCP-1788-1 instances will exclusively reproduce with one another. They will have no apparent uh, attraction to normal, human, normal humans. Gestation period for SCP-1788-1 instances is possible. Uh, uh, real, real quick, gestation. Oh, gestation, got it. Gestation period for SCP-1788-1 instances is approximately 40 weeks, roughly the same as humans. Their offspring are genetically indistinguishable from normal humans and are not considered anomalous. However, they are prime candidates for ongoing for ongoing the SP-1788 process, their capture or termination is to be, be considered high priority, second only to the termination of SP-1788-1 instances. <coughs> so, 
So we got that there. Yeah. That everything from the main article. Yeah. Yeah, so um I think this is a pretty decent uh certain groups. Yeah. The, yeah. It's it's basically just a uh, predatory behavior. Yeah, when when I was when I read that nickname, I thought this was the aristocrats for a second. I don't know what those are. Well, I know what they are conceptually, but I don't know that SCP. Think yeah, about I... underground nobles who like to consume human flesh. I'm sorry. What? And a lot of inbreeding. That's just the, what goes on with nobility. I got a well, hammer thrown at me. Now I'm kind of concerned that 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 sounds like it could easily lead into some anti-Semitic stereotypes. Yeah. Did they specify any like caricatures? Because I I feel like that's when it starts dipping into like. I think they oh, God. said. Oh fuck. I think they said they weren't even really human anymore, or something like that. Uh, still dipping its toes into anti-Semitism. I don't I don't think that was the point of it. I mean, well. I didn't. Like well, that. yeah, like that's the thing. Like, something can be anti Semitic without someone intending to be anti Semitic. So, yeah. for instance, it could be a wild coincidence that the villagers look like that. It oh, could no, be the villagers wild... purposely look like that. The villagers in Minecraft purposely look like that because uh, Notch is an anti Semite. Hold on, ch child. Let me finish my statements. Um... It could be a wild coincidence that the villagers look like that. You know, the, the designers, and here's the main thing, the majority of designers would not have looked at the things being put into the villager design and think, this is anti-Semitic stereotypes. Yeah. It's the fact that there was even a single person who was intended to do that, or just the fact that these things exist culturally that leads it to happen. Another example is the fact that a lot of tropes surrounding vampires are very anti-Semitic bullshit. I didn't actually know. Hold on, I'll send you two pictures oh, of the aristocrats. Bible. That way you can get a good picture in your head what they are. Yeah. Of course, there's also the chance that they would be basing it off of um... Yeah, the other thing I can think of is Lovecraft's uh, The Nameless City. Or not The Nameless City. I mean, um, Lovecraft Shadow... is a giant piece of shit. So. Yeah, Sh Shadow over Innsmouth. And even then, like, Shadow over Innsmouth with kind of a lamp-shaded uh, commentary on his view of ba basically great replacement bullshit. Yeah. It's still a good story, but uh, like any of these stories, you need to look at them with an understanding of the fact that they do come from a pretty fucked place. I say either aristocrats. Yeah, I saw. But anyway. Oh, we don't even get to the aristocrats for a while. It's 3,288. Jesus Christ. But yeah, I need to get the sequencing done. I had it like a couple of days ago. All right, the next one, uh, because it has people people's faces in it, I'm gonna spoil it. Uh, this is the next SCP. I'm pretty sure one of the people on there is like one of was one of the key suspects in the um uh fucking zodiac killer case ah uh, well its nickname is layla layla well let's see what layla is oh god damn it there's a paragraph that has a bunch of redacted in it oh let's hope they're warranted yeah. all right SCP-1790 is an accumulation of human memories and an associated personality capable of preserving 
its existence after death by transmitting itself into the mind of a newborn infant. SCP-1790 currently inhabits the body of a, of a Hispanic female, 33 years of age. SCP-1790's current state is the seventh instance that has been identified to date. Its interviews, it has claimed to have existed at least redacted distinct individuals since its first incarnation and redacted. Interviews and testing have determined that all instances of SCP-1790 possess full recall of known memories of each prior instance and share similar personality traits. The means by which SCP-1790 transmits to a new instance at the time of death is unknown. All attempts to block transmission have failed to date. Transmission of consciousness appears to occur at the time when brain activity ceases in the current instance and is not prevented by keeping the instance clinically alive after brain death. In all documentation transmissions, the new instance has been identified as a person with a documented time of birth less than one hour after the assumed time of brain death. Born within a 500 kilometer radius of the location where the previous instance died. SCP-1790 has shown no preference for infants of any specific gender or ethnicity. All instances of SCP-1790 have been noted to, to possess a high degree of natural charisma and rhetorical skill and have been demonstrated to be highly capable of convincing others to follow their instructions. SCP-1790 has demonstrated an expert ability to cold read individuals within seconds of beginning a conversation and determine how to converse with that individual in order to coerce their agreement. No indication of an emetic or hypnotic effect has been associated with this ability. Persons interacting with SCP-1790 have been reported no compulsion or involuntary urge to obey or agree with SCP-1790 except in that they find its rhetoric highly convincing. SCP-1790's persuasive abilities are maximized when it is able to converse with another person face to face, covering SCP-1790's eyes, removing the second party of, from its physical presence, or conducting a, a conversation in writing rather than verbal, verbally inhibit its ability to read and persuade other persons. In all instances where SCP-1790 has remained outside containment for a significant period of time, it has taken advantage of, of its charisma, charismatic abilities to establish itself as the leader of an insular and, and self-contained religious movement, whether by establishing one itself or assuming leadership of an existing group. Once in the position of leadership, SCP-1790 will induce the evolution of rights within the sect, idolizing mass murder and ritualized human sacrifice, and will, if not taken into containment, eventually organize and carry out a large-scale com convert campaign of ritualized murders targeted against the general population within its area of influence. This campaign will continue until SCP-1790 is either killed or apprehended, the sect, sect collapses due to the arrest or death of its members, or the locale in which the sect operates has been depopulated, at which point SCP-1790 will abandon the sect and establish a new movement elsewhere. In all documented instances of SCP-1790-related campaigns, pregnant women and children under the age of 8, as well as members of associated sects themselves, have been excluded from those individuals targeted. SCP-1790 was first identified in 1868 when redacted, the ring leader of a group of thuggy cultists operating in the area of Rajmahal, Rajmahal India, was apprehended by British authorities and sentenced to death. Prior to execution, redacted claimed to be the reincarnation of Redacted, a thuggy leader who, was, who had been executed during the first wave of the British anti-thuggy activities in 1832. Redacted's 
comments were dismissed at this time as in 1893, 22 years after British authorities in India, India had declared the thuggy movement extinct, a new thuggy cell was found and to be operating near Delhi, led by Redacted, who, who similarly claimed to be the reincarnation of Redacted and Redacted. Redacted was transported to Great Britain and placed in custody there until his death of natural causes in 1899. In 1916, a string of murders in London with a methodology similar to that used, used by the thuggy was traced to an Irish-born woman, Redacted, who told police upon apprehension that I have lived a thousand years and I will return and kill again and again until I kill my Majnun, and he rises anew from the slaughter. After the connection was discovered between Redacted and previous subjects, she was surrendered to the Foundation custody. The name Maj Majnun, referenced to by SB1790, had been identified by Foundation historians as referring to Quays Ibn al Mawawa, a figure from Persian folklore who was involved in a forbidden romance with Layla, the daughter of a man who refused to allow their marriage. The degree to which SCP 1790 identifies with this figure has not been determined. A memo from Dr. Samesh I am concerned that SB 1790 is getting better at hiding itself from us each time it is reborn. We did not apprehend its most recent from a form until it was nearly 30 years old and had killed several dozen people. SP-1790 had, had nearly a century to learn the way the Foundation operates and what we look for when it reincarnates. Uh, when it reincarnates. And its natural charisma goes a long way towards stopping its parents and family suspecting that anything is amiss. I recommend that we we relocate SB-1790 to a more isolated region and establish a more severe revision to procedure and to pass so that future instances can be identified in their infancy. Request received Ethics Community Review Pending 05-12. And that's it. This is one of those that's like really interesting and creepy, but it isn't going to cause like an absurd amount of damage. Yeah. It's like it's still basically just operating in the same way as individual uh, cult mentality based uh, killings, which ultimately, like, while terrifying, are still. A relatively small number of the population. Yeah. And I can definitely see where they were uh, pulling some inspiration from because this just sounds almost exactly like the Mason murders. Uh, just added like a little cult significance to them. Which I think is interesting. But besides that... Honestly, I think it'd be a stretch to put this in city. I'm thinking certain groups. Mm -hmm. Usually that goes with most, uh, not most cults, is it's most, uh, like, certain groups. Yeah, like, except for that one yesterday where it's like, oh, I don't think you were here for, you might not have been here for that one. Uh, a, a cult that's basically just spread through, like, anyone walking by either oh, no, no, joins I, the cult one, the you were there one. yeah yeah like that's a rare instance where a specific cult is just incredibly dangerous within the scp foundation oh uh, yeah but this is kind of meh also uh, it's it's kind of like it's kind of on the same level as uh the daughter of shadows uh, in a way like like, yeah, she she wants to kill thus and thus and so many people, but ultimately that amount of people she intends to kill is like a blip in the human population. 
as tragic as it would be, obviously, it's still like she's not going to end the world. I just gotta commit a, a, a tiny bit of uh, probably just a, a bit of murder. So just a little bit of murder over here. This is... Just a little goofy murder. I don't. I don't think this is one of the keeters. Let me hold on. Let me check I my list. True... Like a like a like a true oh, Brexit yeah, no. geezer, just a bit of murder. No, it's not at all. But there's no one, one SCP is. that's literally called SpongeBob Watches. <laughs> what? Motherfucker. Speaking of spun speaking of SpongeBob watches, I just saw the giant forearm or forearm having muscle man in half. Now he has two arms. On both sides. Well, it's it's technically not in half. It's kind of like a like an awkward diagonal cut. So like his head comes off with one chunk and then his legs and two other arms are on the other chunk. Damn, I guess he thinks with his head and then he thinks with his other I don't know. Yeah, oh if he if he some oh. if if he somehow survived that, he'd have to use his two arms to walk. I feel so <laughs> I feel so bad for the D class they tested this on. Ow! Ow! Oh no! Oh no! Oh boy! All right. What do so, we? So, uh, when you wear the SpongeBob watch, oh, every no. time it laughs, your uh, phallic bo uh, bones will grow six centimeters. Your what? Yeah, uh, P H A L A N X bones. Oh, phallic bones. Yeah, phallic bones. So, like the bones in your hands and feet. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Every time it laughs, it'll grow six centimeters. But once you take it oh, off, wait. you'll go back to normal. I d wait, I don't know if that's actually. It. Can you spell it again? P H P H A L A N X. Phalanx. What are phalanx? Okay, yeah, that is what I'm thinking of. Oh, okay, so yeah, it's the phal the phalanges are the oh 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 god. Wait, oh no, oh I just re okay, so um, it gets even okay. Worse. Let's just read it. Let's just read it. But for reference, the f yeah. I wait. Are you sure it's the? Are you sure it's the phalanx bones? Because I'm seeing phalanges. I'm saying, uh, it says P H A L A N X. Uh, I don't think that exists. Maybe it's something they made up. Because, like, that spelling is phalanx, like the military position. Do they. Do you think they that that's a typo and they meant phalanges? Oh wait, hold on. Uh, a phalanx, atomically, any one of those bones in the fingers or toes. Okay, so it is just talking about the phalanges. Yeah, so uh, it's just another way you say it. It's just not really used. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's the Latin for them. I just realized. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking at the. I I I look up. Uh, phalanges and the Latin for it is phalanx. So, uh, I'm not gonna. S uh, you, so you want me to read this SCP even though it's not a Keter? Oh, it's it's not a Keter. No, it's it's safe. I I don't. Basically, how? okay. Basically, how you no. revert the person back to normal? You have to turn the clock backwards, and it will slowly go back to normal. Okay, you know what? You know what? You've you've hooked me. I want to hear what the fuck this does. Go ahead. All right. It ain't getting ranked, but go ahead. SCP-1808 is a collective designation of six yellow plastic wristwatches decorated with green polka dots and images of SpongeBob SquarePants, a popular cartoon character from the children's television series of the same name. 
thank, thanks for thanks thanks for the ex thanks for the explanation on what SpongeBob is, Internet people. <laughs> I really needed to figure that out. I didn't know what SpongeBob was. Shut, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I didn't. SCP. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, I was about to say, like, you call me old. You used to call me old man. I asked it, uh, Pika if one of like the things he was referring to, referring to was a, a, a plankton quote. Yeah, I know what SpongeBob is. Yeah. Anyway, SCB-1808 operates and is powered via anomalous means. As all watches function normally, despite the apparent removal of all interior me mechanical components. SCP-1808's main anomalous properties manifest when it is worn by a human being or any other creature possessing limbs and phalanx bones. Once affixed to a subject, SCP-1808 can only be removed by the, the individual who originally fastened it. Every quarter hour, SCP-1808 will play a soundbite of, of the SpongeBob character's distinct laugh and the distal and intermediate and proximal phalanges of the limb upon which SCP-1808 is worn will grow in length by approximately Wait. 6 centimeters. Wait, back up. Phalanges? How is it spelled? P-H-A-L-A-N-G-E-S. That's phalanges. <laughs> Shut up. Right. Shut God up. damn it, right. I <laughs> just yeah, please said, learn how to read. I just said that word in reference to these bones multiple times. Shut I, up. Can we can we put Bright into like a kindergarten reading class? I'm gonna end all of you. They I, would I siphon all of the brain cells away from the other kindergartners. <laughs> Shush. Anyway, I'll co I'll continue. <laughs> The growth will continue every quarter hour, hour until either SCP-1808 is removed from the subject, or SCP's 1808's adjustment knob is retracted, halting the watch's timekeeping functions. Subjects experience little to no blood loss when the phalan phalanges. Uh, oh Jesus! Penetrate phalanges. the uh, phalanges. Uh, when the phalanges penetrate the subject's flesh. However, afflicted individuals have reported the growth to be immensely painful. Bro, you don't have to say it like that. SCP. You don't have, you don't have to say it like penetrates the, the subject's flesh, author. No, they're in, they they write uh, certain fan fictions that I cannot mention. Silence. Shush. I didn't mention them. Shush. You mentioned you by I. Right. Please, nineteen eighty four. The child. Oh, I no. wish to live. Please, my love. Dragon. Shush. Please. Anyway, let me just finish the SCP. When SCP eighteen oh eight's adjustment knob is retracted and rotated clockwise. The hands on the watch rotate accordingly, resulting in accelerated uh, phalangeal growth. Rotating the knob in the opposite direction reverses the growth process. If the process is completely reversed, the bones will cease shortening once returned to their original length, and the areas of flesh damaged by the, the protruding uh, phalanx bones it will be instantly healed. Subjects who have who have the effects reversed and this way bear no evidence of the previous physical trauma, although any psychological trauma resulting from the experience will be retained. If two instances of SCP-1808 are fastened together and placed around a subject's neck, the subject's teeth lengthen in a similar manner. Why did they test that? Oh, <laughs> why did they test that? The I must know. Oh God, does that mean that it'll do it to the toes as well? Yep. Also, that raises a question. Do you think SpongeBob has dental care? What'd hey. you say? I think uh, SpongeBob has dental care. I I don't I don't fucking know. Has he Maybe got some, he got some big teeth. So you think? Ma you, you know what? You know what? New head cannon, SpongeBob. There's there's like a hospital in Bikini Bottom, and when he needs his teeth checked, 
fucked up. He just goes there, opens his mouth, and a cleaner ass uh, just just goes into his mouth and checks on his teeth. The one thing is, if this was a Keter, we would put it in the what the fuck tier. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Easy. <laughs> this is an easy what the fuck tier. It's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and the fact that the it's... foundation tested the neck. Like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> What is the logical sequencing of thought processes that would lead to you thinking, okay, so we have these watches. They play an annoying sound bite every little while. And every time they do that, they make a person's hands and bones in their hands. They grow and then they splinter off and pierce through their skin. It's it's awfully traumatic. And it's then when we take them off, it stops, and then you just turn it back, and they're they're fine. I mean, they 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 they're traumatized, but they're fine. Uh, this... yeah. Let's put that on the person's neck. No, this just sound. This just sounds like um, like just fucking a, a regular SpongeBob episode. I don't know what y'all are like talking about. This does not sound like a regular SpongeBob oh, episode. There's one thing you have I want to say. Watching that SpongeBob. There's actually one thing I didn't know it was an Easter egg, and the one SpongeBob episode that got banned in multiple countries. Uh -oh. It's a, it's this uh, place that has a bunch of doors that lead to alternate universes. There's oh, one yes, door that that shows Squidward auto homicide. That, like they don't show him dying or anything, but it shows his face. And I I thought that was kind of cool. That sounds like a dumb creepy pasta. Is this completely confirmed? Oh, no, no, they do actually show it in an episode. Yeah, they actually do so show in the ep actual episode. I don't know what the episode is. But whatever. I have, a very, huh? I have a very important question, friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm choosing one of the uh, horror movie villains to take through Mortal Kombat next. Uh, should I choose Alien? Jason, Predator, or Leatherface? Alien. Alien. I will remind you that Leatherface has a chainsaw. Alien. I like Alien better. Okay. <laughs> I like okay. Alien's design better. Okay. Uh, Alien, and I get to choose uh, between three uh, variations for combat styles, should I go Tarkadin gains chop chop blade spin and attacks utilizing Tarkadin blades? Should I choose Acidic gains exo sting and acid blood? And uh, the last one is Conjurer gains o Ovomorph and Drone Drop. It basically gives me the ability to drop giant eggs and then have people suddenly get a face hugger on them. Egg. Egg. Can I offer you an egg in these trying times? <laughs> Did you want me to fail, don't you? Yes. yes. I mean I I mean come on, I described there's there's a move called chop chop. Yeah, Why but don't the you... eggs are funnier. Yeah. But blade spin. Eggs are funnier. Get to egging. What uh, don't don't <laughs> say that. Go on, egg boy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, let's actually get to there the are, actual Keter SCP. <laughs> there are very few things that I would not do to you two. <laughs> you don't want to be referred to as Egg Boy? What do you think? <laughs> what kind of... What? I... Everything about that nickname makes me viscerally uncomfortable. <laughs> I also well, just to... I also just realized that the alien has six fingers. But yeah, two, but that's, that's what I two but two but two pairs of them are like like fused together on this on this model. I have Please. done nothing. You fucking <laughs> <laughs> is, is your uh, nickname referred are you referred to as Egg Boy now? No, I'm not Eggboy. Yeah. Oh, I, 
I am. <laughs> I mean, okay, look, I am a penguin, and I, uh, penguins do lay eggs, but I do not wish to refer- be referred to as Egg Boy. Well, you know what? Karma's a bitch, Egg Boy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's actually get to the actual Keter SCP. And you know what? As my opponent for my training, I'm going to choose the other alien in the roster, Predator. Nice. Isn't that a movie? Yes. Yeah, these are all characters from movies. Wait, not the Egg Egg Boy Boy. thing. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Egg Boy versus... uh, Doesn't... Actually, if I remember correctly, doesn't in the Predator movies, doesn't he spare a lady because she turns out to be pregnant? I don't know, maybe. Maybe. So. Uh, also, uh, Egg Boy versus Frying Pan. <laughs> oh my god, instead of kicks, the alien hits people with his tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh he god, doesn't really... kick. Also, do the aliens have pronouns? I don't fuck. I don't think. I don't think the xenomorphs have Hair. genders. <laughs> or even care yeah, if like, they do. Yeah. <laughs> like if they do, okay. then they should let us know. We should we should they should let us know what their pronouns are if they do. Actually there is a comic a wait, hold on. There is a canon comic where there's a xenomorph that actually helps humans, wears a fake mustache and smokes cigars. Yeah, because they don't they have like at least like human like basic human knowledge or like well, it's not that yeah. they have basic human knowledge inherently. The uh, Actually, the thing that I think makes them so interesting as a creature, even though I've never actually seen the Alien movies, is that they basically create an actual reason as to why the aliens are so humanoid, even though actual aliens wouldn't be humanoid at all. It's because they are quite literally, like... He- human alien hybrids when they uh do the whole face hugger thing they take on a significant amount of human dna and become hybrids of humans and aliens so all the xenomorphs you see so all the xenomorphs you see are actually human hybrids they had to they they suck sucked on the human dna and were like yes i would like to i would like one human dna please that's not what they do, child. I can't find the picture he where he mind. has a fake mustache on, but I did find the one where he is smoking a cigar. Oh, God. You don't as want to well go suck, suck on that... some human DNA? Well, no, they don't go suck mm-hmm. suck on human DNA. They attach a face hugger to your chest and then have an alien creature get birthed out of your chest. Yeah, that's close enough. No, it's not. What the fuck is wrong with you? Bright sending me something. The question should be, what is not wrong with me? God damn it. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I just got JFK'd. Uh, anyway. Well, let's... then, well, if you just got JFK'd, then don't worry. Your killer's going to get shot by someone locally soon. Anyway, let's actually get back to what we were supposed I to be doing. I got ran over by a car. Uh, I don't oh, care. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's adorable. Shush. Aww. Let's get on to the next SCP, please. All right. Next SCP is SCP-1801, a.k.a. Sharing Sickness. I shared a picture of it in uh, stream planning. It, the, like, the caution sign with a little jar in it. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be like a virus dish. Oh my god! One of my attacks just immediately makes me bite its face with my tongue. Oh, for f- yeah. oh Jesus, I gotta be careful when reading this one. Because I just oh, see no. it's... Uh, it's a special containment procedure, so there's two ways it can be transmitted. By blood or the other way. By blood or the Humans other way. Talking. It's... It's not an issue to say STIs, right? Oh, uh, well, it didn't. It doesn't say STI. Well, that's yeah, funny. but that's I what it's say that. implying. Yeah, blood to blood or STI. I won't say what it actually said, because child. 
<laughs> human DNA. What are you talking about? Go to your room. Yes. I'm in my room. Well, go Bright. out of your room, I then go back in, in your room, room again. Bright, 1984, the child. No, I'm right, though. Also, 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 I should technically be asleep. All right, pay me five dollars. But I still no. <laughs> well, I'm not asleep right now. What anyway, the fuck did you? Like, what the fuck did you say? Coming back in, child. Uh, I slept, but um, technically I would be asleep by now. But I slept a good majority of the day because I had a really bad headache and still kind of do. Uh, so yeah, I am still here. Anyway, see. on to the next SCP. So shush, child. Eric. SCP-1801 is a contagious syndrome that appears to be transmissible, transmissible through a complex of agents that in isolation show no anomalous properties. To date, Foundation researchers have identified the components of SCP-1801 to include redacted bacterial agents, redacted viral agents, and redacted prions. All, all these agents are well known and documented in their effects outside their participation in an SCP-1801 infection. When they're participating in, in a, a SCP-1801 infection, their normal epidemiology and symptomatology are no longer a, appear to apply. Symptoms of SCP-1801 infection are very based on the vector of the infection and whether the infected individual has subsequently infected anyone else with SCP-1801. There are three classes of infectee. The Dash-1, an individual who has become infected with SCP-1801 through the contact with SCP-1801-2 or via redacted, becomes SCP-1801-1. Despite hosting several strains of bacteria and virus that normally lead to fatal infections, SCP-1801 will remain apparently healthy and asymptomatic until inf infecting other in individuals with SCP-1801. Dash 2. An individual who becomes infected with SCP-1801 through contact with Dash 1 or Dash 3 will become Dash 2. Within 24 hours of, of infection, Dash 2 will begin sh showing signs similar to an active infection by uh, staph Staphylococcus uh, aorus or Clostridium perfinogens. And don't worry, I'll copy the words and post them in Discord. I just put a face hugger on Predator. Yeah. Alright. There, I actually put the actual na Latin names down in stream planning. Alright. However, I'm Brian sorry. I'm, oh. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I would go look at it, but I'm having too much fun knocking over the Predator with face huggers. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> however, rather than liquefaction and necrosis, the infected tissues vanish completely. Blood loss is minimal as blood vessels close off as tissue disappears. Because of this, the victim does not suffer from toxemia or shock and can survive much longer than typical for such a tissue destroying infection. Usually, until vital neural or organ tissue is infected. In dash three, once SB eight, uh, once dash one has passed on SB eighteen oh one to at least one other person, dash one will cease becoming asymptomatic and begin transition to become dash three. Dash three will begin showing the onset of a regular, mature, teratomas. The onset of these teratomas will correspond with the onset of symptoms in dash. In the dash two, that was infected before the transition. Mass and rate of growth of teratomas in in dash three will correspond to the mass and rate of tissue destruction 
in dash 2. The rate of growth of tumors may accelerate if dash 3 infects new individuals with SCP-1801. In this instance, mass and rate of growth in, of teratomus in dash 3 will correspond to the collective mass and rate of tissue destruction in all instances of dash 2 so infected. Genetic tests on teratomus show genetic material from dash 2 rather than from from dash 3. Despite this, no incidence of tissue rejection has been observed. Teratomus growing on dash 3 show a much higher incidence of complex organ development that than is typical. In addition to eyes, teeth, and hair, there have been observed a complete kidney, a lung, and a complete left hand, showing some independent movement, a tongue, a redacted. While these growths appear random, they interlink with each other and in advanced cases show a circulatory endocrine redacted symptoms parallel and independent of SB 1801 3s original anatomy. Dash 3 generally survives until tumor growth constructs normal organ functioning. In cases where all associated Dash 2 have expired before Dash 3's tumors have become light threatening in size, tumor growth will cease and Dash 3 may survive indefinitely before infecting a new Dash 2 and tumor growth resumes. Hmm. Why is Hatchet's little bubble lighting up green and then stopping? Don't worry about it. So I'm yeah. guessing it might be it might be occasionally picking up the sounds of me ripping Predator's face off. But just not <laughs> oh. coming all the way through. So yeah, uh that's SCP eighteen oh one. I'm about to beat a cat at a card game. No one cares. I'm I'm no. I'm sorry to say this, Bright, but I was way too focused on on ripping Predator's face off. I have no fucking clue what you said. Wow, Hatchet. I apologize. Um, Alright, I what? guess I can summarize it. Uh, yeah. Stage one, the the virus and bacteria become asymptomatic. Until going and infecting another individual, which will become stage two, where they will go uh, liquefaction and necrosis in the infected tissues, but uh, blood loss is minimal as blood vessels close off as tissue disappears. Hmm. And in dash three, uh, they will literally grow tumors that will yeah that, that, that will grow in a complex organ development that, that is typical in addition to eyes, teeth, and hair there have been observed a complete kidney a lung, a complete left hand showing some independent movement, a tongue a redacted and while these growths appear random they interlink with each other and in advanced cases show a circulatory Endocrine redactive systems parallel and independent of SCP's SCP 1801 3's original an anatomy. Mm. Hmm. Well, how does it mention how it spread? Uh, Did you say blood to blood or STI? I think in that case, it's basically just a really weird, fucky version of, like, hepatitis. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's about as dangerous as hepatitis. So where would we put hepatitis? <laughs> wow. Where do we um, rank hepatitis rank on the hepatitis. SCP ranking list? So what are the other what are the like what are the like things on it again? The list, I mean. On the list? What yeah. list? 
Yeah, oh. list out our tiers, Bray. ZK class, reality ending, XK class, world ending, world changing, continent, country, city, certain group, only one, spoo tier, what the fuck, and reassign. Hmm. It doesn't, this doesn't kill the person, does it? Oh no, they'll eventually die. They will eventually die from it. Yeah. Mm. You, you could say city, potentially. Mm. Probably wouldn't spread that far, so maybe certain group, or I'm feeling a slight urge to put it in what the fuck. <laughs> you know, the thing is, now reading this, it, it slowly it, it slowly starts to look like a ripoff version of 610. How so? Because six ten has that. six ten has shown to have people grow uh more limbs or other heads that they didn't have when fully transformed. Oh, yeah, but, like this is a complete like this is completely different from six ten. Mm. Yeah. That's why I said rip off version. Then it wouldn't be a rip off. It's a completely oh. different idea. Right, whatever. Oh yeah, Booker um, says I was gonna say yeah. country because past experience with pandemics and human behavior. Yeah, at the very least, uh, uh, mm. yeah, but at the same time, like again, we're talking about like something that doesn't spread as easily as something like COVID. Mm -hmm. Like with blood yeah, to blood and STIs. Yeah, like. That's that's I, why I, that's why I said city. either what the fuck or certain group. Mm, I would I think city, city would be. City could work. I city think could work too because. Yeah, I think city would be appropriate because I feel like this stuff left unchecked would probably have the potential of basically affecting a city's worth of people. Uh, mm -hmm. We're not going to go right. into which city's worth because that can get exponentially bad, but. A city's worth mm -hmm. of people. Washington, like, D.C. I mean, that has a pretty... That, that's not even a that mega a city. Pretty, yeah, like, that has a you, pretty low number of people. Yeah, you know what? Like, uh, Adorna, if you, if you, if anyone knows the answer to this, uh, let uh, ask me. Bright, how many people do you think live in the single city of Mexico City? Five people. Give an actual guess. Well, I, give, an actual give an actual guess. guess. Uh, I don't... I, 15,000? 10 million. Uh. Yeah, I was gonna... I was gonna guess, like, around... Like, 10 to... 5 to 10 million. Oh, bookmark. <laughs> yeah, uh, like... Maybe 15. It, to like... put that into perspective, that means that... Uh, there is one... Like, the amount of people that live in... Mexico City is probably uh actually oh yeah and also I'm, I'm forgetting. also to put into this perspective to uh ha, oh yeah right fuck um are you, are you okay <laughs> brain just yeah I was thinking about something else and my brain like didn't like have the names so, like it's it's right. it, um, it sounded like so, you ran right. through three different names <laughs> yes I did, did I actual actually but uh. so right so you said ten thousand right yeah um that, that's about as many people as my as a small town my uh my college is based at uh probably just barely more so this makes me curious how many people live in this makes me sad to tokyo population a donor's brain fiercely flipping through the phone book in their brain what Aderna? The phone book? Oh no, not pollution, population. Goddamn autocorrect. Alright. Also, I was I was gonna the look phone book? Oh. 
Yeah, I have. Oh fuck! Tokyo's yeah, more. To... Tokyo's almost fourteen oh, yeah. million. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, like if you think about it, like Mexico City has, yeah, has a less dense population, and Mexico, like because I it's think Mexico is like a little bit more spread out. It's it's yeah. less like yeah. They've they've got a more spread out population, and they have a lower overall income rate to help support that many people in a single location. Yeah. But you gotta keep in mind, like a mm-hmm. very large portion of Mexico City are, uh, what are they called? Um, shanty towns. Like they're basically just oh. homemade towns where people end up living in these, uh, barely maintained structures. Oh, no. Anyway. Anyway, uh, like I was going to say, when I was about to see the nickname with the next SCP, I see two other nicknames. One sounds really bad. The other just so- it sounds really funny. The first one is Darkness is Only Skin Deep. Oh, uh, oh no. Oh, okay. Wait. Um... Okay. okay, we could try to... Okay, uh, let's... Let's take that. In, let's let's try to li- let's listen to that and take it in the best possible way you could, given the 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 way that it sounds to be talking about races. Um, the best oh, thing you could. I'm, I wasn't even thinking that. So okay. Yeah, the the best way you could interpret that is like weird liberal, like white liberal, uh, identity politics, where it's like. The darkness is only skin deep. We're all the same inside, but it doesn't come across like that because you just said the darkness is skin deep. That is the best way you could take that. Let's let's what what's what's the other one, Bright? Uh, the other one, which I find funny, I don't want to go back to it. Is I feel homesick for a place I'm not even sure exists. Okay. <laughs> I don't see how those two nicknames are at all connected. Oh, I know. I just said one sounds really bad and one sounds funny. I know, but that's my point. I'm, I'm, I'm making the note that these sound very diverged. In the same way that, like, it, like when you first read Jurassic Park, you then immediately mentioned that the MTF unit that goes after the ghost, uh, the the possessed vehicles, mm-hmm. is named Ghostbusters. But we didn't know that it was like about ghost vehicles yet. So it was just like, yeah, this one's called uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, the MTF unit that goes after them are Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, I like I decided to look inside a dark one. Basically, uh, inside the dark one, um, <laughs> Josh, you know what I meant. Anyway, I decided to see what it was about. Apparently, it's a condition from 14, uh, four, ages of four to 13 year old children will have where they will, or with very, or light, like very visible light, even the smallest part of it can get them sunburn. But mm. the thing is. They all have a fear of the dark. Oh. I mm. like. I they They'll get sunburn from it, child. Yeah, so it's yeah. <laughs> it's a double whammy. Also, I'm That's trying okay. awful. Yeah. I, yeah. I got my Minecraft Steve Lego helmet stuck on my Minecraft Lego Steve, so I keep All the right. cap. The last SCP I'm going to say that's a funny nickname for, because I accidentally saw it when I was scrolling down. Uh, its nickname is Bob. Oh. Bob. Why do I feel like Bob's a war criminal? <laughs> I might know what Bob is. It's a food catering truck. Oh, Bob's a war criminal. Oh, wait, it's a Keter. Wait, wait, no. Bob is a Keter, so we're eventually going to talk about Bob. Uh, That's a war criminal. Anyway. Silence, child. Wait, stop the presses. I currently have 
50,666 anomalies. We stop did it, the, folks. Stop the presses. I uh, got the... the you, wait, you actually have 50,000? Yeah, I have 50k. How did you... Oh, wait. That's not as much as... I decided to look at the final things. I thought... I thought it was something else. Never mind. So, wait, you... Are you confusing 50k with fucking 50... <laughs> 500k with a million with 2 million with 4 million do you know how numbers work bright <laughs> shush anyway um i have to go to the bed the answer tonight. is no okay. Good night, goodbye child All good right. night wait oh fuck god damn it the next SCP. oh yeah oh. sorry real quick before we continue Aderna, did you see the uh cah fun time channel that bright made me mhm mm well, it's for anyone who put, wants to post yeah. pictures. Yeah, but uh, it was made at my request. Did you see the most recent thing that I decided to add to the fish deck? Uh, nope. It's at the bottom of that. Just, just go take, go take a look real quick. I caved and decided to add glub glub, but I edited glub glub. Oh yeah, with the. Uh... <laughs> I, think I, 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 yeah. I think I love when messages under it, though. Yeah, literally or metaphorically, <laughs> me. Fuck you. Literally or metaphorically, <laughs> cease. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, how do you like how I'm making my cards? It's nice. The The... The like the the colors for the font could be better for some of I'm, them. Yeah, I could guess as okay. much. Like for some of them, I can't see. Yeah. The manta ray one I can see pretty well. The grouper is somewhat okay. Uh, deep blue I can see well. Blue old shark I can see well. Playco has a little bit of problems I could potentially see. Big Man Train, can see a well. Cod, see well. Shark, see well. I'm guessing the, the name shark is Marine works Beta. Well. I just realized Marine Beta is kind of, kind of blends in with the background a bit. Yeah, Marine Beta and then Fuck Bright. Those are the ones that like would are pro probably work the least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway. I shall keep that in mind. Let's get on Over. to the SCPs. And Sea Lamprey is probably like. Well, like it works, except for like the end of it, but a little bit. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Uh, the next SCP is Extra, extra Lunar Mean. But yeah, to be clear, sorry, just real quick. To be clear, the main reason why I have that there is so that at the very least I can tell what it is so I don't have to remember every single fish. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'll try to improve that. Yeah, go ahead, Bright. All right. So, or should uh, I continue talking about fish? No. Uh, can you guys take a picture? Uh, look <laughs> at that picture real quick. <sighs> Stream planning. What the? F is, that, is that a plaster just... cast in space? <laughs> See, that just a... looks like part. That just looks like they took a picture of the moon and just put it randomly. Okay, here's the thing, Hatchet, uh, Derna. That's a memetic hazard I just introduced you guys with. Okay. <laughs> You see, that's the thing. I would give a shit if memetic hazards were real. If they were mm -hmm. real, that would be terrifying. Well, I guess technically Trump might be one. <laughs> anyway, let's actually <laughs> that. let's actually see why this is a keeper. If, it feels if it it feels like every time he opens his mouth, my brain cells die. <laughs> anyway 
SCP-1812 is believed to be an irregularly shaped asteroid orbiting Earth at a distance of approximately 108 uh, kilometers. SCP-1812 is approximately 8 kilometers in diameter at its widest point, and it has an unusually high density of 670 grams centimeters cubed. SCP-1812 is believed to have been captured by Earth's gravity approximately approximately 3.2 billion years ago. SCP-1812 is in a retrograde orbit around the Earth, traveling at a rate of approximately 90 minutes per each orbit, although only 1 437th of the diameter of the Moon. SCP-1812 appears much larger, larger in comparison due to the shorter distance between it and Earth. Depending on the angle of the solar light relative to to SCP-1812, it goes through several phases, similar to the Earth's moon. SCP-1812 is a subject to a mimetic phenomenon where it is capable of being observed by sentient individuals unless an individual announces the presence of SCP-1812 either verbally or legibly and indicates it in some way such as circling it in a photograph or pointing out its location with a hand gesture. Oh, then never mind, we're fine. That picture wouldn't hurt us. <laughs> you know, if you're going to try to kill us, you could at least not botch it immediately. <laughs> Shut up. All right. The exact... It's like that one story about that guy who tried to assassinate uh, Andrew Jackson. Walks up to him pulls out his pistol the gun jams but don't worry he has a secondary pistol pulls out his second pistol the gun jams he's beaten within an inch of his life by the president yeah you could you could maybe not do that yeah anyway all right yeah the exact area indicated and it is inconsequential SCP-1812 can be viewed at several different locations in the sky by several different individuals, even in daylight conditions. The existence of SCP-1812 is dubious. Measurements of the spa space that SCP-1812 theoretically should occupy sh show only empty space. However, these same measurements when formed by a person aware of SCP-1812 seemingly show the existence of the object. For the purposes of this document, it is assumed that SCP-1812 1812 does not ex indeed exist. Those who are aware of the existence of SB-1812 will perceive several differences in the environment around them. For example, once an individual is aware of SCP-1812, they will, will be able to perceive light reflected off of it by the sun, increasing their night vision during times when SCP-1812 is visible. The most prominent effect, however, concerns tidal cycles and SP-12's effect on them. SP-1812 exerts a gravitational pull on the Earth similar to, but weaker than the Moon's. However, this pull, combined with the Moon's natural attraction, causes more severe tidal cycles, leading to those affected by SP-1812, perceiving that sea levels are approximately redacted meters lower than the norm at low tide and up to redacted meters at high tide and that approximately 85% of the coastlines in most islands around the world have been flooded. Persons entering affected areas by any means move as if those affected by unseen li liquid usually s starting about redacted kilometers inland of the of the actual start of the water cycle water line subjects are incapable of swimming through this liquid and have great difficulty moving, indicating that the liquid has a higher viscosity than the water. At, at the point where individuals affected by SB-1812 had the liquid going above their head, they have been suffocating and undergo severe hypoxia, essentially drowning on dry land. This can be prevented through use of breathing apparatuses such as scuba tanks, also volcanic activity is perceived to increase with minor eruptions from several volcanic sites occurring frequently and rarely results in death due to volcanic activity.
And there you go. How? Oh. I. Earth has two moons now. That's not what it is, Bright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this. This is a what the fuck. It's. it's Rip that one so, person who died from the fake volcano. Yeah, right? It's, it's not it's not a moon, it's a satellite. It's another yeah. satellite. Because that's why we Yeah. Moon, I mean technically the like, moon is also a satellite, one, but it's just a really, really yeah, the big moon's satellite. Also a satellite. Yeah, the moon's it, also a satellite. But like there is called a moon because of like the properties oh, no. involved okay. with it. <sighs> I, I just read what the Foundation tried to well, do right. to uh, see if they could try and, and cure the people of this meme. When they um. when they tried to, they developed severe nyctophobia, which is a fear of the dark. God damn it. Oh my. <laughs> so, no, you cannot be cured. <laughs> Yeah, hey. this is. Hey, it's a fear I have. Hey, I already have somewhat of a fear of the dark, so. Yeah, me. This is just. <laughs> this is. This is just an easy what the fuck. Yeah, I, I don't even. <laughs> what? what do... Why is it Keter and. What do we do with it? Because well, no, they, it's, you it's, can't... it's obvious why it's a Keter. They it's can't Keter... contain it. Right. You can't contain a satellite. Uh, well, or actually, I guess that's the thing. Like, this could be potentially devastating. Because, like, what if enough people in a city that's coastal saw, saw the asteroid? Then uh. pretty much all of those people end up Drowning on dry land. Well, you also get night vision. Oh my. You don't get night vision. Well, they say it's, oh. they call it night vision, but what they're talking it about increases, is literally just, so it increases your night vision. It increases your it ability increases to your see at night. night. It increases that vision, but the way that it's described is as if it is a. Uh, as if it is uh like moonlight because it's basically a second moon in how it acts it would be like moonlight right it specifically says like when it would be visible in the sky is there yeah. a compulsion to go into the unseen no the uh it doesn't say that there's a compulsion to go into the unseen water it's just dangerous because so, the person perceives go ahead so go so hatch hmm? there's an easy way to fix this just point it at and just point at it and say say oh there it is there's whatever the fuck it is there you're done you don't have to worry yeah, about crowding well, anymore. Yeah, did say verbally, yeah, like, if you like, shout it out, it would, it, it would cease its effect. Oh, did it? Yeah, like, if you point it out, show a picture of it, or circle around or anything like that, you will no longer fall under its effect. Like, in that time, or just until the end? But uh, like until the until the end of uh, end of days of your of your life, like you will no longer be affected, basically. Okay, yeah, never mind. This is just a what the fuck. <laughs> yeah, I had missed that part. <laughs> yeah, this is just what the fuck. All right, next. I. All right, uh, next SCP. Let's see what it is. It. All right, it is rock in a hard place. And let me get a pic the picture that I was given. There you go.
loading. Is that a hurricane? Uh, no, those are like. No, maybe it's a. Whirlpool. No, look, looks like a whirlpool. Yeah, I real yeah, I realized like after whirlpool, I said that that those look like waves. Well, yeah. hold on, I can I I can clear that for you, Hatchet. SCB-1823 is an autonomous and self-sustaining migratory whirlpool. Definitely a hurricane. Yep. <laughs> Wait, what? It's definitely a hurricane. I'm convinced. Anyway. Oh my god. The dimensions of the whirlpool vary between approximately 1 kilometer and 4 kilometers in diameter, with current speeds of 100 to 100. 70 kilometers per hour. SB-1823 is capable of traveling at a maximum observed speed of 30 knots and often moves contrary to present oceanic currents or conditions. There is no observed pattern to SCP-1823's path, though it appears to avoid areas with depths of 500 meters or less. If, however, any naval vehicle occupied by one or more human approaches within 70 to 300 kilometers of the anomaly, it will actively target that vessel if SB-1823 does not track airborne... Oh, wait. SB-1823 does not track airborne vehicles. SB-1823 was discovered on Redacted in the north northern Atlantic Ocean, approximately Redacted kilometers from the coast of Norway. Okay, now I'm fine with it. I'm fine with this SCP being called safe. It's definitely safe now. Why? Because I want to nuke Norway, and this is affecting Norway. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> anyway. Bro, just... you can't nuke a fucking... You can't nuke a fuck... <sighs> anyway. And of all the places, why Norway? <laughs> I don't know. I just chose a random country <laughs> and stuck with it. <laughs> anyway, the discovery yeah. had, had resulted in the destruction of a civilian fishing vessel. No crew member survived. The Foundation was alerted following reports of the whirlpool's size and alleged movement. The witnesses were administered Class B anesthetics, and the incident was publicly declared the result of an iceberg collision. Despite Foundation efforts, SB-1823 has occurred the destruction of redacted known vessels and redacted fatalities since its discovery, largely due to, to unpredictability of the phenomenon. Attempts to, at disrupting the currents of SB-1823 are futile as this will cause the whirlpool to dissipate and reform elsewhere. Instructions from O5 Command prior to his further study of the anomaly with the aim of establishing neutralization protocols or more reliable containment procedures. That it? Yeah. Yeah, this is a certain groups. It's just a it's whirlpool that just, <laughs> just goes after it's, ships. <laughs> it's just a pissed off whirlpool that wants to kill people. Yeah. <laughs> Come to think of it, this might be like I, I like trying to link these SCPs to things that they might have been inspired by. This could actually be inspired by uh Kraken myths. Because mm. Kraken myths largely come from Scandinavia and there was they were said to, well, not largely, but especially originate in Scandinavia, and they were commonly described as being large enough to where they can dive and cause whirlpools to sink ships. So in other words, this might just be a really angry kraken. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Or oh, a really hungry one. Yeah. Uh... I sent a picture of the next SCP called A Mother's Son. I don't know whether I should be scared or horny. Hatchet. What? A bookworm bong hatchet. There's no children present. I'm free to say things. I know my rights. You're free to get bonked. Yeah, <laughs> bookworm okay. bong hatchet. <laughs> 
I see that. Anyway, on with the SCP. Words cannot describe how little I care about being bonked. I will be horny. You cannot silence me. <laughs> anyway. SCP yeah, you're not Chew. Chew. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it is our right. SCP-1824 is a phenomenon manifesting as a graffiti design composed of red, black, and white spray paint. SCP-1824 has thus far only made its initial appearance in urban environments with a population density of 14,000 kilometers squared or higher in the contiguous United States, Mexico, and Canada. Wait, back up. What? What? Con did you mean continental? No, C O N T I G U O U S. Contiguous. Contiguous, yeah. Here, here. I am gonna. I was about to say, if that was continental US, that's just like a new low for you. <laughs> Shut up, I'm not that bad. Well, yeah, that's why I'm saying they it might would be a new low. You said it had a D, right? No. C-O-N-T-I-G-U-O-U-S. Okay. One sec. I don't think I've ever heard that word. Hatchet is learning new words. You um, sharing, it means sharing a common... So... I was just making sure because I didn't know if they misspelled it. Um, it means sharing a commenter or touching. So, in other words, it's. In other I, words, it's. I just can't a... hear. One sec. One sec. I'm gonna uh, disconnect for. Well, I'm gonna mute for a second so I can like hear this. Okay. Um. So in other words, it's just a weird way to say continental. Like, it's literally just talking about the continental United States. Yeah, anyway, I guess I'll continue further. The graffiti always manifests on ground-level surfaces that are vertical or very nearly vertic vertical. The signs produced by SP-1824 are consistent in that they are always featured a wing winged human humanoid. Uh, the, oh wait, I read that wrong. Winged, uh, winged, <laughs> winged female humanoid. It is close to my bedtime. Fuck you. <laughs> and winged. And process a size of one meter by one meter or greater, or moving or obscuring the graffiti does not prevent or alter SB 1824's effects. Right. 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 What? The word is pronounced. The word is pronounced contiguous. Okay. Anyway. All individuals that reside within the effective range of SB-1824 begin to exhibit symptoms similar to paranoid-type schizophrenia and will begin to experience delusions and hallucinations. Persons I have done nothing. Shush. Persons affected by these episodes describe a consistent figure, a oh this... Destitute mother desperately attempting to provide for her child. Affected persons will attempt to provide food, money, and other resources to for this hallucination to the point of severe personal loss. After a period of approximately 45-60 days after SPCP-1824's initial appearance, the phenomenon will begin to increase the effective range of SP-1824 by 1 to 5 meters every 24 hours. This is marked by the appearance of additional graffiti of the same design in the extended area. This growth will continue until all available area with the, with the population density of approximately 7,000 7, per square kilometer. 
or greater if is affected. It does not appear that SB 1824 can expand through the areas with the population density lower than 7,000 per square kilometer. Though once manifested, it will persist until the area is fully depopulated. Each individual manifestation of SP-1824 appears to abate only when the area is completely devoid of human habitation. SP-1824 is not observed to generate multiple manifestations simultaneously, and occurrences are approximately 18 to 36 months apart. There you go. Mm. Fucking hell. It's a... It's a graffiti painting that gives you schizophrenia. <laughs> no. Well, it did say it does that. It well, did it, not... Oh, no, similar. Similar to a paranoid type schizophrenia. That's right. It's similar. Uh... I, I forgot I said the word similar. That's my bad. But yeah, like... It literally fucks with your head. And so then it there makes... could be continent. Well, no. I don't think there's a single continent that has that amount of population density consistently throughout. Mm. Like, even Japan, like, for instance, if that showed up in Tokyo, it'd wipe out most of Tokyo, but then it would stop because, well majority of other places aren't connected to Tokyo in that manner. This is an easy city. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It can, it, and it's, it, it's just fucking hell. Just give, give all, give, give all your money to, to the, to the fucking dying baby hallucination lady until you die. You know, you know it's great that mm. hatchet. Mm. We're about to see an SCP we haven't seen in a long time. A joke SCP. Um, or I guess that's well. As a real quick, uh, I'm just trying to like. Does it mention any type of containment procedures? Like, how the fuck do you deal with this? Like, this can wipe out an entire city. Let me go back to it. Like, do you have to just, like, destroy the graffiti? Let's see, what's the containment procedure? Should SCP-1824 be discovered, the Foundation is to designate the area as biologically or chemically contaminated, then evacuate all individuals that inhibit inhibit the area evacuated individuals are habit you have it you said up. you up. said it you said it correctly the first time and then corrected yourself with it with, with the wrong pronunciation you said a Shut habit up. you said in a habit and then you said inhibit <laughs> shut up anyway no Evacuated individuals are to be housed at Foundation-controlled temporary housing until the manifestation has ended. Should SB-1824 enter the expansion state and total evacuation has not yet been ach achieved, a gas main explosion is to be emulated to expedite this process. Due to the highly public nature of SB-1824, standard media blackout procedures are to be applied. Okay, so yeah, that makes a decent bit of sense for dealing with it. But yeah, like left unchecked, this could easily destroy a whole city. So I think city is an appropriate place to put it at. Yeah. You ready to... You ready to hear the joke? What, your pronunciations? Fuck off. SCP-1830-J, <laughs> also known as Opening Line. And uh, I'm going to just show, show you the picture I, I was given. I've got an opening line. What's with Bright's pronunciations anyway? Shut up. Wait, what? 
Is this a picture of a black hole? What the fuck am I looking at? Wait, I don't what? know. Let's read it. All right. Description. For all intents and purposes, SCP-1830-J is an anomaly affecting individuals which causes them to use over-the-top cliché turns of phrase in written documents as well as perceiving other documents to be under the thumb of SCP-1830-J. In this day and age, it is estimated that redacted percent of the world's population is affected by SCP-1830-J, but these could be just the tip of the iceberg. SCP-1830-J is able to spread like wildfire and should be avoided like the plague. Tempting, tempting to convince victims that are affected by SCP-1830-J is like talking to a brick wall, as they believe SCP-1830-J is the best thing since sliced bread. And administering standard intelligence tests suggests that there are a few sandwiches short of a picnic. Communication <laughs> with with victims well, also runs the well, risk of spreading SCP-1830-J, as when you gaze into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. To the best of our knowledge, the origin of SP-1830-J was the mid-19th century England, when the turn of phrase redacted may be where it all began, although that could just be a shot in the dark. If SP-1830-J is allowed to run rampant, it's plain as day that this would, call, would cause literature as an art form to bite the dust. While there's no accounting for taste, works... Affected by SCP 1830 J are a far cry from readable, while the foundation, foundation must count its blessings that no mass outbreak of SCP 1830 J has occurred. This may just be the calm before the storm. Addendum It looks like we've had a wool pulled over our eyes. SCP 1830 J was right under our noses this the whole time. I propose we lock this article once and for all so that we don't cause anyone else to trip up. All is well that ends well. It's a good thing that the rest of the database is safe as houses. Dr. Major. Why? This is food tier. <laughs> this is just so good. Why did it. Why was I given this as a picture for this? I don't fucking know. It, you're staring into the abyss, and the abyss is staring back. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Now, for the final SCP of the night, I think it makes sense if we end off with Bob. Oh, we reached Bob? Yes, we reached Bob. Hell yeah. Hmm. Who's Bob? <laughs> well, I want to show you a picture. <laughs> In a moment. Let's see a picture of Bob. Yep. Yep. That's Bob. <laughs> <laughs> He's a war criminal. All right. <laughs> now let's see why this is a Keter. It's Bob. Of course it's a Keter. Lock him up. <laughs> Shut up. SCP-1838 is a food catering truck. The individuals that operate the vehicle and the food dis dispensed by it are designated SCP-1838-1 and SCP-1838-2, respectively. SCP-1838 is an unknown make and model. Its dimensions are 1.4 meters by 2.3 meters by 7 meters, and the exterior is largely a pattern chrome. The left side of the truck is in, in blazoned, or blazoned, I don't know. Emblazoned. 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 With the words, Red yeah. Red Bear Bob's Food Truck. SCP-1838. Red Bear Bob's. Yeah. Bob's a war criminal. <laughs> SCP-1838. Yeah. Dash 1 and Dash 2 have not demonstrated anomalous properties in their composition. Dash 1 is highly varied, demonstrating no distinct pattern in gender, age, or, or, or ethnicity, and while not aggressively or hostile towards Foundation interference, they remain secretive and vague regarding their personal facts. SCP-1838-2 
Two generally consists of hamburgers, hot dogs, fried potatoes, fried chicken, and soft drinks. Hmm. If a war criminal. Right. SCP-1838 <laughs> will manifest within roughly 100 kilometers of the site for a professional American football event in the United States. This will occur approximately 18 to 36 hours prior to the event's com commencement. This manifestation has never been directly observed. It is not clear whether this fact is attributed to the nature of the anomaly or not. The manner in which the phenomenon selects events is unclear, but it appears to priori prioritize those with greater media attention. Right. SCP <laughs> Shut up. Pri <laughs> prioritize. Pri pri prioritize. Shut up. There you go. SCP-1838 <laughs> will then park and settle within the closest legal proximity to the event location. Within one hour of the commencement, SCP-1838 will I will enter an active state, and, and Dash 1 will begin to sell Dash 2. 1838 will continue in a state until 10 to 20 minutes after the completion of the event. At this point, it will leave the area and disappear within 18 to 36 hours. This event was, has likewise never been directly observed. It is currently unclear how many entities of SP-1838 exist, though multiple simultaneous manif manifestations have not been observed. Details of SP-1838 and Dash-2 remain consistent throughout manifestations, though Dash-1 does not, save for bearing the same uniform. Which is a, a white cotton shirt bearing the Red Bear Bob's Food Truck logo, blue denim pants, and black unmarked shoes. Hmm. Yeah. Any human being that consumes Dash 2 will become subject to its anomalous effect. These individuals will refuse all nutrition that is not provided by the consumption of Dash 2, and they will express a longing for further consumption of said sub substance. If unprovoked violence occurs against Dash 1, a LISA event will occur. Numerous additional instances of, of Dash 1 will manifest via a doorway at the left rear interior of, of 1838 and will attack the responsible party. To date, these instances have been armed with wide variety of uh, improvised bludgeon, uh, bludgeon and bladed weapons. Bludgeoning. 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 Uh, and bladed weapons. Bludgeoning. Yeah, got it. Including crowbars, tire irons, baseball bats, fire axes, and knives. There have been no observable limit to the number of, of Dash 1 produced by a Lisa event, and said events only appear to subside when the responsible party is terminated. Additional Dash 1 pursuit produced by the event will retreat to SV 1838-3 following the event. Uh, yeah. You like Bob? I don't like Bob. He's a drug peddler. He's, <laughs> he's he sells his grody addictive food to kids and then then gets them hooked so that they come back for more and more until they die. Yeah, I, I assume they die. Because yeah. you know that Bob's definitely not making the highest quality products. So where do we put this? Because Foundation can't catch him. Well, yeah, no shit. It's a key. Yeah. Well, I shouldn't say that considering oh, some wow. of the other things we've seen. People mislabeling their SCPs, but... Yeah. I'd, like... I'd say a certain group. I, mean, I would say certain group but at the same time, like it's not even that dangerous. It just gets you addicted to food to this weird food. Like, is there any like notable negative effects besides that? Uh not that I know notice. Hold on. I mean, there are people talking about uh people being killed by a Lisa offense. 
Well, yeah, but the least of a event revolves around someone attacking the guy in the place. Right? Yeah. Yeah, attacking the person in the place. Yeah, and even said unprovoked. Like, in other words, it doesn't seem like that event would happen if, for whatever reason, the person running the, the food truck decided to hit someone. This yeah. is just... So yeah, no, like, the only way it would be dangerous if you literally just punched the dude. And he's like, alright, bitch. Time to die. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess, like, so, the big... Like, certain the group. Well, I, I guess would the... Be certain group. Oh, I still question that, because, like... This... Like, doesn't count as certain group if the only way it's dangerous is if it's reacting in self-defense? No. Well, I mean, with the food, it, like... Hold on, let me look back at the new food. Like, uh, does it cause, like, negative effects when you eat the food, other than being highly addictive and making you come I mean, back to otherwise, get food? Otherwise, then, refusing all nutrition that is not provided by the consumption of Dash 2. <sighs> That's it. I... I just uh, I... the question. Wait, did didn't that doesn't that like does don't those effects go away though? I don't think it. Yeah, it's. I don't think it's stated that it does or does it... not. I mean, it says that the that the vehicle okay. disappears, but it doesn't say anything about the the food uh, anomalous effect goes away doesn't say whether or not okay so come to think of it i think city would be appropriate because it mentions that there's no simultaneous uh manifestations of these things and if feasibly enough people ate at the stall and then it ended up like on some other end of the continent for forever, those people might just end up starving. Depending if depending on if like yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. And, like, the amount of people that would possibly, like, eat at these things outside of a sporting event is, like, really high. Especially, like, the fact that, like, the actual food you get at a sporting event is, like, exploitatively expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. eh, I think city's appropriate. Bob gets into the city. Wait, maybe we should put him elsewhere. We don't want him in the city. <laughs> Wait, so the next SAP, it is Keter, but it's explained. Which means we know everything about it. I see. I'm going to show you what it looks like. <laughs> Bob... <laughs> Bob was always in the city. The city is good for business. Fair? That's fair. <laughs> Wait, what? The fuck? What's the name of this SCP? Uh, uh, Listomania. Listomania. Wait, no. <laughs> Hold on. It went from so. You... No, hold on. Franz it... list. No, it's I, I will I'll go back to see the thing, but I decided to see the object class. It went from Euclid to neutralize to Euclid to Keter to explained. <laughs> what? The author couldn't tell what they wanted, but no, it's uh, L I S Z T O mania. Yeah, list 
it's listomania. So, so okay, Franz Liszt was a com, was a composer and master pianist who had such huge hands that he could like literally like play at least thirteen uh thirteens on a piano. Wow. Which is like an octave plus five notes. If you're if you ever wanna see how big that is, try putting your hands up to a piano and like stretching them. Like yeah, he's He's a composer who, like, is known for his works being very hard. Yeah. And he's an SCP. <laughs> no, the mania surrounding him is an SCP. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, no, actually, no, that makes sense. So, like, they're, okay. Um, okay, so, like, we actually talked about this in the history class, but like mm. List. So List, whenever he played, every like, so you know how like girls get like with people, uh, with like how well, like how fan girls get with like, uh, with famous bands, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'd say probably imagine that and multiply it by 10 for a list. Potentially. Damn. Should we just do the music themed and... SVP while Adurna's here in case they aren't here for the next one? Well, I, I have to actually get to bed for work tomorrow, so... Nah. I, I don't have time for it. Black. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to. Hey, at least you. Oh, at least um... you got a little bit of a background then. Yeah. Or yeah. An understanding of who of what list who list is and what this is talking about. We could. I mean, e. we could like skip it until Adorna gets in, then we read it. That's an idea. Like, if Adrenaline's not there at the start of the next one, yeah. Which will be tomorrow night, then I'll have two days off for, um, editing. And then I get to stream the game I really want to play. Pokemon Violet. What? Why did... Back... I'm Ooh, sorry. yeah. I'm sorry. Back up. <laughs> Why did you say editing like that? Like it was editing? something... Yeah, yeah. Why did you say editing like it was like something scandalous? Like, and then I, to the next two days, I have to do editing. Mm, editing. <laughs> editing. I have to edit these YouTube videos. Yeah. Anyway, um... <laughs> I'm gonna edit the fuck out of these YouTube videos. <laughs> Imagine editing. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, baby, you better. Oh, you edit them videos, good baby. Oh yeah. Clippers is not uploading them raw. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, edit those videos, baby. You gotta keep. Anyway, let's no, try baby. editing the videos tonight baby oh yeah look from last words go in the meantime but during... mm-hmm. in the meantime, to myself yeah Bonk to myself <laughs> uh in in the meantime Adurna could do their last words while we wait on book uh um, one sec. Uh, 
Wait, I got, I got a. One sec. Ah, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, follow, subscribe. Oh wait. And then. Something. Oh what? Oh, you were show. <laughs> you forgot you were free. <laughs> you saw nothing. <laughs> uh... <laughs> How many times are you gonna make that mistake within this month? I mean, I'm just gonna. I just have to like buy uh more joy cons because my joy con is not going to survive the full stream mm. oh, especially not on the subathon <laughs> of course mm. this lol i did see nothing wait you're buying more joy cons they're that flimsy no like they run out of yeah, battery yeah can't why you don't just... you buy the batteries then? You and why don't you buy they, like they don't you don't put uh, batteries okay. in them? Yeah, you charge them, you charge them, but you could just get another. You could just just get a second set and then like charge the others while you're playing. That's what I'm doing. Okay, I only have one set of Joy Cons. I'm getting a second one. So when the first okay, one's I thought out, you were I thought you were getting more than two <laughs> more than no, two then. No. Like the way you kidding. said it, yeah, the way you said it made me think that you were, like, buying them in bulk. Like, no, you were no. expecting them all to get ruined. <laughs> They're, like, 80 bucks. I can't buy the multiple. Right, hoarding Joy-Cons. Alright, now I gotta look up oh, Joy... Con... Charge... Charging dock okay. and the switch. Anyways, book I'm ready. Uh, bright forty joy cons. He show up on the switch. I don't know what that is. What's Follow this? bright on all socials, oh. or else Bob won't visit your town anytime soon, and you won't get to eat the lovely SCP eighteen thirty eight to two. Bright. <laughs> Uh, Portquam <laughs> says, follow Brian on so on all socials, or else Bob won't visit your town anytime soon, and you won't get to eat the lovely SCP-1838-2. Subscribe <laughs> to Bright. We gotta get our, yeah. we gotta get our 1838. Our we, we, yeah, we gotta get our Bob on. Uh, okay, so this one, this one I'm looking at only has cost twenty bucks. I'm not seeing any really bad reviews. It's like ninety eight major percent majority good for reviews. So that's actually a good sign. Well, well, some people do like buy reviews, and some you you have to be care careful, and you have to like look actually look at the reviews if you're gonna. Like, yeah, go know. based off of reviews. Like, based on what, look at what they say and, like, whether they have, like, actual proof that they got them and stuff. Okay, yeah. the only re reason they're getting mad is because they, c even though it says NES controllers could work, they don't. I'm just charging Joy-Cons. I don't give a shit about the NES controller. So that's not gonna bother oh. me. That's not gonna bother me. I'm just getting the joy con. Mm -hmm. That's that doesn't bother me. You so, sound yeah. pretty bothered. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, you sound really bothered now. Why are you so <laughs> bothered, Bright? I'm gonna murder you, son of a bitch. Why are you <laughs> so bothered, Bright? Answer anyway, the question. Hatch it. Last words go. <laughs> you dumb. Bitch. Oh no, I didn't. Fin Wait, I didn't finish didn't... mine. Why Wait. are you so bothered, oh. Bright? Adarn didn't finish theirs. Okay, sorry. Adarn, go. Okay, as I said before, follow, subscribe, reject tradition, embrace eternity. 
<laughs> Hatchet, last words, go. And remember, kids. If you go outside your house and you remember that the outside has polar bears in it, go back into your house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to read a meme that I found. All right. You better not be misinformation like last night. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. This is actually really funny to me. All right. I saw a girl crying, so I asked her... Where are your parents? And she started crying even more. Man, I love working at the orphanage. Right. <laughs> I like dark humor. And remember, kids, fuck bright. And not in the fun way. I still think, I think the best meme that I've, I've read so far was probably the GTA 5 one. That, that is a really good meme. Yeah. It's such a good bait and switch. Yeah. Wait, book where we're doing thick you hash it. Why? <laughs> what, what did I do? <laughs> oh, we need a thick you bright. bright instead of hatchet. Uh, I'll probably maybe do that later. I'll I... probably maybe do that later. Shush. I will perhaps maybe in the future be of the maybe, maybe not. Anyway. But yeah, anyway. Uh, um, D-Class. I'm not, oh, sorry. Anyway, uh, Danger Noodles. My fellow Danger Noodles. I hope you enjoyed watching the, this stream. And hope to see you uh, next time.